Jamie, not you. Okay. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Today's uh, February 15th meeting of the Post Falls Urban Renewal will get started, and we'll have the uh, call of order, and then the roll call, please. Carsonson? Here. Coles? Here. Davis? Here. Horn? Here. Thank you. Thank you. And now we'll ask Jamie to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. <clears throat> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Seems kind of quiet in here today, I'm missing a few. So. Well, I would also like to note that Commissioner Baltzell, Crosby, and <clears throat> Hauser have excused absences this morning. Thank you. Um, under uh, number two, ceremonies, appointments, and announcements. As you can see, we have a new member sitting beside me here on my left, and we're going to introduce her. Uh, Laura Horn, welcome. Thank you. She, she grew up and graduated in Post Falls. She was gone for six years to California, where she attended Antelope Valley College and married her husband, Shannon. In 2000, they moved back to Post Falls to be closer to family and to raise their children. Their son, Carmen? Cameron. Cameron, I'm sorry, is a freshman at BYU in Provo, Utah. Her well, daughter, Kelsey, is a junior at Post Falls High School, plays volleyball and softball. Laura was very active in her children's sports. She enjoys golfing and spending time with family. Laura and her husband uh, own River City Fabrication. She plays a significant role in another business, First Response Fire Rescue, uh, which provides aerial fire support and services it, worldwide. Laura serves on Post Falls Chamber. You two know each other very well. And uh, at Board of Directors, <clears throat> she looks forward to learning more about the community and lives she lives in and helps to make it grow. Welcome, Laura. Thank you. <clears throat> now, anybody have any statements or for disclosure today with anything on the agenda? Nope. Seeing none, we'll move on. Consent calendar. Thank you. Good morning, commissioners. Item A in the consent calendar is the commission meeting minutes of January 18th. Item B is the payables for this month totaling $1,105,975.43, which includes the $1.1 million loan payment to Washington Trust Bank for the Greens Ferry overpass. The current balance on that loan is $5.8 million, and once this payment is applied, the balance should be approximately $4.8 million. Item C is the bank activity report, which shows total in all funds of $5,829,210.69 and accrued interest for the month of $2,460.14. Item D is the financial reports as of January 31st. Your approval of the consent calendar will authorize a transfer of $2,460.14 accrued interest to the general fund and transfer to the Community First Checking Account of $1,105,975.43 for the payables. Policy number five was changed last year to reflect authorization for the executive director to sign, to be a signer on, in the sole event that two officers are unavailable as long as one other officer is um, available at the meeting <coughs> to sign the checks. So a motion would be in order to accept the consent calendar as presented and noting that two of the three signers are absent, therefore the executive director will be signing the checks this morning. Your motion? Move to approve the consent calendar with the, uh, I don't know, whatever the last part of Diane's comment was there, that two of the signers are absent and the <coughs> executive director will sign the. I think we need a roll call vote on this, right, Pete? Oh, I need a second. I'll second. Second, okay, thank you. Now a roll call vote. Is this, Cole? Is, no. Sorry, what? is there any discussion? I was just making sure. <laughs> I don't think there is. Okay. Coles? No roll call vote. Aye. Davis? Aye. Carstensen? Aye. Horn? Aye. Thank you. Okay. 
Thank you, Diane. Uh, committee updates. Uh, finance and policy. Commissioner Crosby is not is absent today, so we'll have to uh, live by what Executive Director Fountain said. District review, Coles. I don't have anything new this morning. Okay. Communications, property, and personnel, me. The only thing, as you saw, we have a new member of uh, the URA today. We welcome her. Citizen comments. This section of the agenda is reserved for citizens wishing to address the commission regarding an agency-related issue. Comments related to future public hearings should be held for that public hearing. Persons wishing to speak will have five minutes. Anybody seeing none? We're going to move to unfinished business. <clears throat> There's no unfinished business. Oh, unfinished business. Uh, new business. New business. Um, Vice Chairman, we have two task orders from Welsh Comer, and um, Matt Gillis is here, and he is going to explain to you his process um, of what he goes through for those task orders. Thank you, Matt. Morning. Morning. Do you need name name and address for here? 350 East yes. Kathleen. Uh, Matt Gillis with uh, Welch Comer. So it's been quite a while since the commission has received a reimbursement request from a, a proponent or developer. And so I just wanted to go through that uh, process, especially for uh, you, uh, Commissioner Horn. So the, the Reader's Digest version is up front. The, the commission strikes a deal with a, uh, with a developer to reimburse them for their uh, public infrastructure, so everything that's built within the, the public's right-of-way or the City of Post Falls property. And then down the road when, the, when everything's done and inspected and approved by the city, the, the proponent uh, can come to the URA and say, we've done everything, we've done our side of the agreement, now if there's increment available in this district, we'd like our money uh, per the agreement. And so when we, where we step in is when we get the request, we verify it's been accepted by the city, and then we just take a cursory look at the, uh, the numbers to see if it's reasonable. It's not an audit, but we just need to make sure that it's, it's within industry standards for the cost of asphalt and the cost of engineering and those types of things. So we take a, a, quick, a quick look at it just as a, as a final check on behalf of the uh, URA. Any, that, that's just the, the, the quick story. Is there any, any other questions? So there's two of them uh, before you, one for the um, Expo District and Mr. Watson, and then one for uh, Tullamore. And we're working with the City of Post Falls on you know, verification of certain things that are, are left uh, undone, but it's very minimal. Questions? Thank you, Matt. Thanks, Matt. Okay, you're welcome. So the next step, we have to have uh, individually roll call votes on these? Yeah, um, item A under new business is the Welsh Comer Task Order 18-01 for Copper Basin in the Tullamore District. The agency has received a request for reimbursement from Copper Basin, and Welsh Comer has submitted a task order to review the reimbursement at a cost not to exceed $2,000. So a motion would be in order to accept task order 18-01. Is there a motion? I'd make a motion to accept task order 18-01. Second. Second. Thank you. Any discussion on this? <clears throat> no, we're just doing A, remember? The Tillamore. Right. Okay. At this, uh, then we need a roll call vote? Yes. Coles? Aye. Davis? Aye. Carsonson? Aye. Horn? Aye. Thank you. Now we move on to B. <clears throat> yes, item B is Welsh Comer Task Order 18-02, J.R. Watson and Associates in the Expo District. Again, the agency has received reimbursement from Watson and Associates for completion of Creative Way. Welsh Comer has submitted a task order to review the reimbursement at a cost not to exceed $2,000. Need a motion to accept uh, B, that task order? Move to approve task order from J.R. Watson and Associates. And a second. 
I'll second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, we'll have a roll call <coughs> vote on B. Coles? Aye. Davis? Aye. Carsonson? Aye. Horn? Aye. Thank you. Thank you. We'll move down. Next one is for uh, C. You want to go over that one with us? Certainly. Item C is the approval of the semi-annual proponent reimbursements per policy number seven, tax increment received by the agency for each of the urban renewal districts is dispersed in February and August each year for the pro project cost reimbursement. Following are the February reimbursement amounts. For the center point district, the proponent is Point Partners LLC. Their reimbursement amount is $380,892.95. Which their remaining obligation will be one million four hundred and thirty thousand four hundred and forty one dollars and forty seven cents. In the Tullamore district, the proponent Copper Basin will receive a check for three hundred and forty four thousand nine hundred and forty seven dollars and sixty six cents. The remaining obligation in that district is one million eight hundred and eighty one thousand three eight three hundred and eighty six dollars and eighteen cents. Tullamore Commons two. Whitewater Creek will receive a check for $13,595.65. The remaining obligation in that district is $232,217.45. The West Saltese District, we will issue a check to Greenstone Corporation in the amount of $98,582.74. Their remaining obligation will be $716,897.19. A motion would be in order to, ex to approve these proponent payments in the amount stated and approve the transfer of $838,019 to the Community First Checking Account for that purpose. I would answer any questions. Any questions at this point? Okay. Do we, uh, can I get a motion to approve that $838,019? Move to approve the semi-annual proponent reimbursements. Thank you. Second? Second. And a second. Is there any questions? <clears throat> Hearing none. Is this roll call vote, Pete? Sure. Okay. Roll call vote. Carsonson? Aye. Horn? Aye. Coles? Aye. Davis? Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, staff report? I would just like to welcome Commissioner Horn. Um, we've met a couple of times and she's she's gonna do a great job so um, and also I have submitted a legal ad that will come out in the paper next Tuesday stating that the agency will review and take comment on the annual report at our city um, at our Commission meeting workshop on March 6th and then I will present that annual report to the City Council on March 20th and that's all I have. Okay. Uh, commissioner comments. Welcome, Laura. Good to have you on board. Thank you. Anything else? Okay. Chairman comments. Uh, I don't have anything because the real chairman is home sick. Oh. <laughs> so <laughs> if you got questions of him, you can give him a call, but I don't think he'd appreciate it. So. That's all I have. Anybody got anything? Shelly, no? Okay. Okay, we're, uh... oh, we need a motion to adjourn. I'll take that back. I'd make a motion to <clears throat> adjourn the meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Now, <clears throat> adjourned. That's